Welcome back to Blar. Today we're going to look at Buck Up and Drive. Game off Steam. It's currently $7.99, which is overpriced in my opinion. Not a bad game. It has a really cool art style. Decent music. The music fits the game. Uh, you start with one car. Looks like there's some unlockables you can definitely get. Uh, but you got some options. Some pretty good options for uh, changing the color. Putting some decals on. So some customization off the bat, which is nice. So I'll change our car up a little bit here. So standard red. Some of the features it claims <laughs> is endless driving game, which is an endless driving game inspired by arcade classics. Simple yet intense gameplay featuring a total stop in the face of realism. There's no realism. Uh, Kicking the spleen too. So it's definitely made with like a tongue in cheek kind of attitude. And it shows. Which is fine. See the car flipping around like crazy. <laughs> you can grind the edges there, which is nice. That's kind of fun. Like Tony Hawk uh, skateboarding games. So the the grind is pretty cool. You hit the turbo uh, booster on the track there to go faster. And the main thing of the game is to stay in a drift. And that lower right hand bar is going to go blue, yellow, or red. That's the power of your drift. And once you can, like, once you're on red or once you have just a drift, I think in yellow, you can also just hit a car, it'll destroy it. If you have no drift, it makes your car spin out and you slow down really slow. So, also, there's these moves you can do. See the arrows there, kind of like a Street Fighter um, move list in the bottom right hand. Like a weird King of Fighters command for your car. Got checkpoints against Endless Racer. It's going to go for score. It does have different areas and uh, branching path. So you can go rice fields or farmlands. We're going to go to farmlands here. And it's going to look quite a bit different than the last level, which is nice. So you know, you're on like a dirt track. And the sense of speed. It looks faster than when you're playing it. When you're playing it, it feels a little bit sluggish, kind of, at times. But it does the job. It has those, uh, like, anime <laughs> um, black lines. I guess kind of from Auto Moglista. That PS2 game, I think, did it as well. So the controller's simple. Left and right. Left trigger to go into your drift. But you hold your drift just constantly. You go left and right. You'll stay in it pretty easily. It's not hard to get in the drift at all, it's pretty much automatic. Uh, you flip around for the scores. And you have police here, you have shields. It's gonna take two hits to get rid of them. You gotta get up to like red level again. That way you can get rid of one of their shields. If you don't, the HU you spin out, slow down. So you gotta drift, get it up. Get your max max up so you can destroy their shields and then destroy the cop car. It says it's the pigs down at the uh, bottom left. That's some weird slowdown right there. So uh, stage three. I think it might have boss battles. I'm not sure. The game isn't, I say, like sustainable gameplay. It gets kind of old really fast. So I'll pick up for like five minutes, play it. Like, all right, this is fine. It's kind of fun. And you're like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> so it does have a versus mode that we'll take a look at. So we'll flip around a little bit more here in the car. So this is pretty much the main, the main game. It's what it consists of, flipping around, bashing the cops, going as fast as you can, staying in drift. So let's go back to the title. Go down to the reverses mode. So I'll buck up and drive, it's called Shifty Gear. So I guess another person can actually play or you can have computer AI. So we'll do computer AI against our car here. And there are more cars to unlock. So this is just a flat road bash into each other until the other person's life bar is gone. Ready, At first I'm like, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I just flip around like crazy. Let me figure out, get your boost up. Pretty much just a, like a one-on-one -on -one battle here. You flip around again. It's it overstays its welcome. Uh, it's just a little longer than it should be. But it becomes kind of like okay, let's just get it over with. I think. Um, I don't sound kind of negative against the game. 
or eight bucks, it's definitely not worth that. I'd be pretty upset if I paid that much for it. It's more five, like five and below kind of game. But that being said, what it does, it does well. It controls pretty good. I would like to see them take this art style, even a track design, and like make an actual racing game. I think that'd be a lot better than this. Maybe in the future they will, because I see how like the bones here of like a, it could be a really cool looking racing game. But that's for now. I would give it at eight dollars. I wouldn't even recommend buying it. Uh, it got on sale for like five or less, like two or three dollars, and that's probably like a seven out of ten game. Um, since the speed is okay, the graphics look good, and the music is okay, and you do have kind of a multiplayer mode. But buck up and drive. Seven out of ten. If on sale. Full price, I wouldn't buy it. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.